uh, ages so like it departments are managing all these solutions all these policies so now the key stakeholders are leadership it and business users and if you take the government departments so uh, there will be external uh, third party uh, agencies also will be involved so for example to maintain their uh, data centers <coughs> the government will be outsourcing to the third party agencies and uh, similarly for the security auditing so any third, any type of compliance audits so the government departments will be maintaining the third party uh, agencies so apart from that uh, mostly the uh, governance models will be managed by these three leadership it department and business users now so there are a lot of areas where governance is required when we are building the low code no code solutions but uh, the key areas uh, we identified uh, that are must are picking the right platform so uh, like uh, uh, so what type of platform how exactly we need to uh, select this platform so there uh, the organization should have a proper uh, uh, processes then building the center of excellence so like how to identify the citizen developers how to nurture the citizen developers how to uh, plan the trainings how to plan the repeated trainings uh, frequent trainings and then how to build a community around the citizen developers uh, or champions in the organization then security related government areas are required like data related access permissions so integrations then what type of development life cycle is should be used for what type of requirements so then requirements and outcomes how exactly they need to be defined when building these uh, low code no code solutions similarly the design the most critical area uh, in low code no code is like the uh, design area where the governance is very much required with respect to the data integrations with the existing systems and if at all for the government organizations or defense organizations the on premise infra is required so how exactly the backups need to be managed so similarly the change management so whenever you are building new processes new solutions uh, with no code and the low code so the speed of development and speed up the new solutions uh, will be higher then how exactly the change management should be uh, managed within the organizations finally once all these solutions are built how exactly we need to manage uh, how to maintain them so do we have any internal tools if at all uh, the uh, users have any issues how exactly they need to uh, contact uh, uh, whether any internal tools are there and any sls are there all these uh, uh, governance models need to be built